I'm Christian Lamichka and today I present you Candice Crane. Candice, country music has many new fans in Europe who may be hearing about you for the first time. So how would you describe yourself and the music you play to someone who's never seen or heard you before? Okay, well, um, if they're familiar with, uh, with uh, country music in, in America and stuff, I would, I would compare um, probably to the styles of, of Leanne Womack and Allison Cross as far as my voice goes, um, but it's definitely like a... Uh, I have traditional inspirations in my music, and you'll hear that in some of my recordings, but I also have like a fresh new like uh, modern country sound as well. So I try to incorporate all of those things with my sound. Okay. So, what did you do before you got into music business? Um, well, I, I've done a little bit of everything. On one hand, it's like I've always kind of been in the music business because I started so young. I was about um, seven when I started uh, touring with a little church uh, band. Mm -hmm. It was three little girls, so I, I've been, you know, doing that since since I was seven. Um, but in between, you know, while I was going to school, I've held down every type of job you could think of. Um, telemarketing, waitressing, all that good stuff, uh, substitute teacher, but, um, but I did, you know, finish high school and college and stuff. In the meantime, um, always while pursuing music, so. So, do you have any interesting stories about how fans have been affected by your music? Yes, actually, this last year, um, I've just been so touched by some of the, the uh, emails I've received from from people who can relate to some of my songs and, and one in particular uh, was a couple years ago I recorded Not Forgotten and it was about losing a really close friend and pretty much like every feeling and thought that you go through um, about you know what their lives could have been and, and losing them um, was was able I was able to you know get that out into a song and so if anybody who's lost somebody in any way can yeah. relate to that and if they write to me like they just tell me their stories and I send them a free copy of it I'm like here I'm just so glad it can touch you here have it you know that's what it's about so I'm, I'm really touched by those stories okay so what inspired you to become an artist well when I was little um, I believe I just gravitated towards country music. My my mother would play, um, you know, the Judds and, and Randy Travis, and they were some of the first artists I remember listening to. And um, and she would get us to sing around the house and, and tell us stories about, um, you know, how how what it's like to be a singer and, and just to, to educate me on, you know, one of the many things in life, you know, that you can do. And I just I knew since I was like seven years old that that's what I wanted to do. So what's the best thing about being an artist and what's the hardest thing? The best thing is it feels like it feels like I'm accomplishing who I really am to where it doesn't feel like work. It feels like everything is just it's fun and it's a passion and it's you know I'm fulfilling something and and I don't look at it as work at all and you know The, the worst thing is, is that it is hard, you know, sometimes. And, uh, but even when it's hard, it's, it's, um, you feel so productive. So when you get time off, how do you like to relax? Well, I don't know if it's stereotypical, but I love to shop. So. <laughs> but I, I love um, saving, like with coupons. And so anybody that knows me will tell you how much I can save with coupons. So that's kind of a funny thing. You know, it's a little joke we have. But... Um, you know, I love spending time with my family and uh, and going going out of town to visit uh, other relatives and stuff. And we're leaving on the road um, at, right after fanfare for some business and some pleasure. And I'm really looking forward to just relaxing then. So, what private hopes and desires do you have? Um, private or cur not career? Well, I'm private. Okay. Um, well, I've always always wished like my number one wish was just for happiness and success so um, I think the two will be intertwined somehow and um, if I have a you know a stable family and home life um, and I'm able to accomplish all my dreams at the same time and be in the music business then um, I think that that I'll be happy so when music fans like to know more about you now where they have to go to 
I'd say the, the best place to go is to MySpace, and it's myspace.com slash Candice Crane Music, and you spell it C-A-N-D-I-C-E-C-R-A-I-N Music. So thanks, Candice, for the interview. Thank you very much for having me.